Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your mid-September 2019 general reading. So it is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aquarius who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to those who've already done so. It means a lot. Um, please circulate the video by liking, okay? All right, let's get into it. So off camera, I was shuffling, and then this card popped out, relationship dynamics. So you may be dealing with a bit of that um, mid-September 2019. So the dynamic of a particular relationship, or maybe of particular relationships with an S, is or are changing you you feel differently someone else feels differently uh someone's entered the relationship someone's thinking about exiting um reservations about a particular relationship either i'm hearing budding starting or um yeah not about ending but reservations about something beginning um the dynamic has changed has shifted has morphed let's see what this is about religion and spirituality so somehow with this relationship, either one coming back or one that is new, it is it is drawing on what you believe. What you believe is true in regards to what a relationship is, what it what it should be, what the foundation should be, how it should start. Because I'm hearing about startings, in beginnings. Um, this relationship is causing you to question, draw on, be more spiritual, be more religious in your approach to getting what it is you want. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What else for the Aquarius mid-September 2019? Thank you, thank you. Oh, two cards. All right. Be true to you. Yeah. Be true to you. Parental care. All right. So some of us are parents or we need to look in on maybe our elderly parents. Um, you may be questioning uh parental care in regards to how you were your upbringing is what i'm hearing um there's an element of caring for or someone caring for you it might be a parent or vice versa you you caring for a parent in the midst of relationship dynamics real religion and spirituality it's asking that you be true to you be true to what you believe in, what you stand for, to your own convictions. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have family changes, either for the Aquarius or surrounding the Aquarius. Divorce, separation, buying a home, selling a home, moving, getting a pet, getting a new car, getting a new dishwasher, kids coming back, kids leaving. Family changes constitute so many different things surrounding the family. So this is kind of a catch-all in regards to, and this could be happening for either you or someone you know, someone that is significant, because they will be coming up in your reading. So family changes here, for the good, for the bad, and different, you know. But there's some changes that will or, or are being made at this present point. All right, so let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. September 2019, 
for the Aquarius. What can you tell us about relationship dynamics? Okay, three of Wands. All right. So this is expansion. This is someone leaving behind maybe a partnership. This is choosing self card. This is knowing that a relationship is is morphing. It is changing. It could very well go to the four of wands. Um, maybe it will no longer be third party for some of you. Changes on the horizon. Expansion is here. No, someone doesn't want to rest in regret and resentment anymore. So they're making some significant stride. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Wow, the Two of Cups. Someone, someone could be going towards something. that they feel could be a more beneficial, successful relationship. Someone feels as if they maybe have met their equal. Can you give me one more card for relationship dynamic? Nine of Swords, but this is... This relationship back to what I was getting in the beginning, the start of the beginning. Some of you are hesitant about starting something with someone because there's someone who needs to leave something or change something. There is someone who knows that something is ending. It has been ending for a very long time. There's extreme anxiety in regards to starting something with someone else because either for the Aquarius, they feel like it shifts their focus in regards to their religion and spirituality. They're no longer standing true to what it is they they have been true to, wow. Yeah, one card for relationship dynamics. Six of swords. It says that even in the midst of maybe some hesitation, some anxiety, maybe surrounding this relationship, there's gonna be peace. Someone's going to make the choice to have peace with. This could be the Aquarius, the Aquarius energy, Aries, it could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another air sign. Yeah. Knight of Swords in reverse. So someone's going to make the decision to have make peace with maybe another air sign or make peace with not engaging. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> right. Someone's gonna make peace with not, en not engaging. This is about choices. This is so, on, on the surface, it feels and it looks like this is a, this could be a really good connection for you, but there's someone who needs to make significant change who maybe has not done so, or it has no intention of doing so. So either the Aquarius or the other person has to make peace with the fact that they can't get involved here because they have to stay true to what it is they believe in to their own convictions. These two cards just fell out. Ace of Pentacle, the King of, wow, the King of Pentacle, resting on religion and spirituality. What is the Ace of Pentacle and the King of Pentacles about? The Aquarius wants something foundational, true, honest, 
built on a solid foundation. It looks as if the Aquarius says that maybe someone can't give that to them. So they have to make peace with moving on. <clears throat> Excuse me, moving on. Because this is what the Aquarius is looking for. Is wanting, is desiring, is feeling worthy of. Right. They want to have. <clears throat> wow, Ten of Cups. Then the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the day. Aquarius, stay true. And then it's so funny, you got be true to yourself, religion and spirit, spirituality. The religion in a spiritual journey here with the Eight of Eight of Cups. You may have to walk away from something that, on the surface, it looks good, it feels good, it's fun, it's new. There may be even a lot of chemistry. Um, there's a lot of relate. You guys relate to each other. Um, this person seems relevant in some facet, but they have not made significant life choice that will allow you to have what it is you want. Universe may be testing you in regards to how strong are you to your conviction. How religious are you? Religion is structure. It's routine. It's the belief of, and it's it could be whatever it is you believe. But it it but it, it, it the the religion and spirituality allows you to be true to you because you have come up with your own religious beliefs. Maybe surrounding getting all of this. This is really good energy. Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Lovers, Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. You have been on some journey, and now on this journey, someone enters. Maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be anyone, and it questions what you believe in, what you find is true for yourself, what you have been convicted to. What's the best course of advice for the Aquarius? And then the Death card and the Two of Wands comes out. Complete transformation. This is the loss of something valuable. You may feel that this person is valuable, or or at least they were at one point in your life, in the existence of the relationship. But it's, it's asking you to allow the ending, the close of, the loss of, and stay true to what you know is true for you, what is tried and what is true. You're at a crossroads. For some of you, this is universe spirit um, testing you. Do you want that new cup or are you too focused on three cups there? What was, what can be, what you can make of it, even though you know that this may not be a firm foundation, you're going to have to, yeah, for some of you, this is a test of, of your, of your own conviction. I'm going to jump to family changes. What is family changes for the Aquarius? Eight of Wands. So there is some fast, swift movement in regards to another person's money, another person's income another person's wealth 
There may be mystery around it also. Family changes. Something is moving. You are moving. You are in the talks of... Yeah, the Knight of Wands most times signifies a move. And this is happening fast for the Aquarius. Some of you are moving like a physical move. Or someone else is moving out. Or, in, or moving away from. This is... This is in haste. The hangman. This may have come out of something of out of upheaval, out of things changing. That this is going to be a permanent decision for the Aquarius because they want to have what it is they want for themselves. And it may be your own place. Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Some of you may decide to travel abruptly. The opportunity for travel comes to you quickly. You make a decision. I'm going. You see something in a different light. So you make some decision. This is permanent. You can't go back from this. You can't go back on, I'm hearing your, your, like your laurels, your morals or whatnot. You can't go back in regards to saying, well, I feel this way or that way. No, once you make this decision, it is what it is. Yeah. What is this about? Or someone's doing this with you. Yeah, when then judgment comes out in regards to... A permanent decision being made here with the hangman. The judgment card saying that the past is over. You you have to rest here in the present, in the now. And you're going to have to change some aspect of your lifestyle. Hmm. Maybe surrounding work, finance, a Virgo, Sagittarius, Piscean person. You may decide to move in with someone, and that could be very quickly. King of Cups here. Like this decision is based in permanence. Like you may decide to move forward with someone. There's some change. Some family change. Like you may decide to move in with someone or move or someone gives you a place. You may decide to go all the way with someone sexually. Um... You have merged here. There's a merger. What is this in regards to for the Aquarius? Ace of Cups. This could be a new home. This could be new love. This could be new friendship. Something's happened here where it allows you to put more energy, effort, time, money into having something that fulfills you on an emotional level. Whether it's surrounding work, home, a relationship, love, there's some change here. Moving in, moving out. A move, definitely a home move. Traveling, merger, you signing contract or doing something. Yeah, you merge something. 
Uh, yeah, the wheel. Something coming full cycle. Full, some of you work from home. And you're just going to put more energy, effort, time into that. Okay. Be true to you and parental care. What we're going to do is go to the other side and figure out what does the Aquarius need to be true to? What in regards to parental care is going on? Uh, for the Aquarius or surrounding the Aquarius. We're also going to get the energy of the other person that you're coming to the reading for. And then we'll close it out with advice. I'm going to leave you with one angel answer card. Go over to the website, book the extended purchase the extended excuse me it's always two dollars and 25 cents okay wow Aquarius we have no and helpful people yeah we have to This is good. This is getting good. This is getting heated. We have a definite no and helpful people. We're going to clarify this no answer. Communicate clearly at the bottom of the day. Hmm. Okay, all right, Aquarius, we're going to go over to the other side. It, it looks very interesting for the Aquarius. It's very tempting. Very, very tempting. Um, hang on. One more card. So the question was, is this, is this a test for the Aquarius? We have a yes answer. Hmm. Okay, Aquarius, let's go on over to the, um, to the other side. And let's, let's talk about this because some of you are on the brink of getting all of this minus the advice. This was the advice. Look it up. Look at that. Nothing but a handful of beautiful cards. Okay. And but you have to be true to you in order to get that. You have to allow an ending, allow complete transformation to happen. Choose the right path. Make a decision to make a, oh, make a more mature decision. This is also not having what it is you really want in your life due to, once again, fear of commitment, committing to being true to you, committing to your religion and your spirituality, or surrounding what it is you want. Now, so try to erase from your mind the definition of religion. You hear the word and you automatically, 
automatically think of church or synagogue or a mosque or um, some organ organization. But religion and spirituality starts with you. What do you do religiously? So let's define the word. What do you do habitually? What do you do uh, routinely? When it is, what is it that you believe in for yourself religiously and routinely? What have you been doing to get to this point of almost having this? Something you've been doing is right, but here, there's a test here. Are you going to stay committed to your own religion and spirituality? Or you, because the cup is soon to be offered or is being offered maybe the cup is also you choosing yourself and not old things that left you discontent bored, dissatisfied because that's what the four of cups talks about all right aquarius let's go on the other side because this is getting good in regards to the snow there are helpful people and the fact that you may need to communicate clearly. All right. There's like love and relationship. Then there's also um, money, something cyclical, something coming full cycle here for an Aquarius, something good. Okay. All right. Aquarius, thank you. Take care. All links are below. Get the extended. This is pretty deep. This is pretty... There's a calmness about the Aquarius. So I don't feel a lot of anxiety. Or, yeah. You're at a crossroads, Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, let's go over to the website. All right. Take care, guys. Um, many blessings to you. All links are below.